What's going on everyone and thank you again for joining me in day three of this multi-part beginner tutorial series. My name is Wong and today we'll be walking you through the SOLIDWORKS interface and get you acquainted quickly with how to navigate the tools that SOLIDWORKS has to offer. After this session, you will learn the basics of the SOLIDWORKS user interface and you will be able to get around the software easily. When you first open SOLIDWORKS, you'll be greeted with this welcome menu. On the top, there are four different tabs that you can navigate through. On the Home tab, which we are on right now, you can create a new part, assembly, or drawing. We'll be going over what those mean in subsequent tutorials. Here, you will also find the recent documents and folders that you've opened. The Resources section on the bottom right corner includes useful links that you can click on to learn more about SOLIDWORKS. For example, you can click on What's New to learn about the latest updates in your version of SOLIDWORKS. There is also the user form where you can ask questions and product support where you can find solutions to the most common issues. The recent tab shows you an expanded version of the recent documents section that we saw earlier in the home tab. Here you can access files or folders that you have previously opened. The Learn tab includes step-by-step -step tutorials that you can hop on to learn more about SOLIDWORKS. Note that these tutorials are not video guided, so that they may be a little harder to follow for beginners to SOLIDWORKS. And finally, the Alerts tab includes troubleshooting and technical alerts related to the SOLIDWORKS software. Usually information related to software patches would be posted here. For the purposes of this tutorial, we will go ahead and open an existing part labeled plastic cover from the home tab. On the top left corner of the screen, you'll see a SOLIDWORKS logo. The arrow next to it provides access to a pull down menu where you can access various commands. To keep this menu bar open, you need to click on the push pin to the right. Below this, you'll see what we call the command manager. This is where the magic happens in SOLIDWORKS, where 2D sketches are turned alive into 3D objects. These commands are divided into tabs, categorized into specific tasks. By default, there are only a few tabs visible, but if you right-click one of these tabs, you can add or remove one or more tabs from the list provided by simply checking or unchecking any of the options. On the left, we have the Feature Manager Design Tree. This is where all the features used in a part or assembly are stored and can be accessed or modified. Across the top, you'll find several other tabs to access other functions. The Property Manager automatically launches when you begin most commands. This is where you get to set up the rules, parameters, and dimensions you want to apply to the features. This area in the middle is also known as the graphics or the design area. Across the top, we have our visual toolbar. This toolbar contains options to allow you to manipulate the view of your part. Popular tools to use include zoom to fit, section view, orientation, display style, different scenes, view settings, and so on. In the bottom left, we have our reference triad. This helps you to orientate your model in specific directions, which can be very helpful when you're creating sketch planes. Another neat trick that SOLIDWORKS has that not a lot of people know about is what I call the SOLIDWORKS Mini Viewer. When you click on any features on your part, it reveals the features that this belongs to, along with the dependent child sketch features. For example, when I click on this face, I can see the feature, sketch, and body, and so forth that are relevant to this particular face. This can be very useful, especially when dealing with complex parts and models. On the right, you'll see the task pane. Here, you have access to multiple SOLIDWORKS resources, such as a design library, where it contains reusable elements such as parts, assemblies, and sketches. 
The File Explorer is an alternative way to access your SOLIDWORKS files. The drawing palette, which we will go over in later tutorials, enables you to insert predefined views to your drawings. The Appearance tab includes multiple customization options for you to change the look and feel of your part, including the addition of decals if you desire. The Customs Properties tab allows you to create unique attributes that helps you to identify specific information that is pertinent to each part. The last feature on the task pane is the 3D Experience Marketplace. This is a new feature introduced by Dassault Systems to provide an on-demand access to manufacturers, including a vast resource for 3D components in various industries that you can use for your projects. On the top of the screen, there's the gear icon. This will access the options menu. The options menu is separated into system options and document properties. You can think of system options as settings that can affect your entire SOLIDWORKS program. We won't be going into detail on how these different settings work, but you can always look them up on the web page if you have any doubts. You can configure settings that will affect the system performance, define file locations, set up auto recovery, and many more. Document properties are settings that are specific to your current document. You can modify how you want your drawings to behave, define the units that you're operating in, the number of decimal places suited to your application, and many more. Again, this is very high level, so I won't be going into detail on these settings, but feel free to look them up if you have any specific questions. From the drop down arrow next to the gear icon, you can access the customization settings. Here, you can customize your settings for how you would like to access your features. For example, you can add toolbars for features that you use most frequently. The shortcut bar is one of my favorite customization tools. You can access the shortcut bar at any time during your modeling process by hitting the S key on your keyboard. This brings up the shortcut toolbar, which allows easy access to features that can greatly improve your workflow. The commands tab allows you to drag and drop features onto your command toolbar. The Menus tab allows you to configure how you want your menu options to be displayed. Keyboard shortcuts and mouse gestures can also be configured for quicker access to features on the fly. I recommend configuring this when you're more familiar with the tools. Finally, on the top right corner, we have the search bar. This is helpful to look up features or commands that you might have trouble finding. I recommend only using this when you don't remember where a command is nested and to drag it into your command bar for easy access. This concludes our overview of the SOLIDWORKS user interface. We hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we will see you in our next lesson.